So we just fixed our live stream and now halfway through we are first. halfway through or about five minutes in yeah we're five <laughs> minutes in Sorry. to the third game on the ICS Addis upper field we have the IST Twigas versus the HIS Warthogs we got a goal kick now and sending it forward number 11 there Joyce, quite spunky. She, fancy footwork there, getting through the crowd, tries to send it across. Great defense there by Tessa, number five. Corner kick for the Warthogs. And Joyce will take it. Great 12. Send it in. Crosses it. Header there by number 12, Priya. Sends it into the middle of the field. Handled there by number 15, Rebecca. Sending it forward. Some way, somehow, number nine. Fires it off Asha with the left foot, but just wide to the right. Sorry, wide left to the, the goal there. Some cheers for the Warthogs there. We've got a sub in, number four, Vanya is coming in. Midfield on the right hand side there. And coming up from the left, dribbling forward. Eloise not able to control it. Out of bounds and a goal kick. Rin, the goalie for the Twigas, had an amazing first game. Very athletic, making lots of good saves. Let's see if the same continues in this game. Oh, apologies, that's the goalie for the Warthogs there. I misspoke. Where? That goalie is for IST. Is it for IST? Then IST. I was right. Yeah. Totally right. Yeah. So yeah, Rin, HIS is goalie for IST. Really strong first game performance. Looks like we've got subs coming in. Number 10, Iris. Number 5 coming out. It's Tessa. Number 3 is coming out, Amal. And a nice clear there from Caitlin, number 16. But the Warthogs pick it up. Eloise, number 13. Oh, handball. Number seven. Safa with the handball there. And now it's the Warthog's ball. Strong defender, number seven there coming up. Josefina to take the free kick. Oh, we got another sub. Number six is coming in. Samara out. Number 15, Rebecca. And Josefina sends it forward. Wow, that was a dangerous one. But just wide to the left. Rin picking up for the goal kick. Waiting for her players to get set. We still have 0 0. 0 0. Yep. Still 0 0 in this first half. Focus on the goalie. And number seven from the Warthogs coming up to make a steal there, Josefina. She's all over the place today, bringing that energy to her team. Number seven from the Warthogs coming up to make a steal there, Josefina. All the way from the back end to take the corner. And set play coming up for the Warthogs. And she crosses with a lob, but Rin's there. Handles it easily, passes it out to number four. Vanya to start the offense. Vanya takes it all the way to midfield. Wow, nice footwork there. Thinks about the crossover, but off the Warthogs defense there for a corner kick. 
Referee sends in a ball for the corner. Let's see what the Twiggas have up there. What they have up there next. So ready for the corner kick. Sending it in from the side. Over the goalie. Oh, dangerous. What happened? Are we waiting for a sub to come in here? Oh, the Twiggas wish they could have that one again. It sailed right over the goalies. Tusks trying to block that Warthog goal there. This time they send it out. Twiggas, nice idea, nice try for the one-timer there from number seven, Safa, but didn't have the right angle. Sent it out of bounds, and now we have a goalie kick. Number 20 is the goalie, Camden, for HIS, but she defers to Josefina with a nice kick through the middle. It sneaks through, but Lynn says no problem. Too easy, picks it up, sends it over to number 16, Caitlin. Caitlin gets a handle on it, looks forward, sends it forward. Mishandled by number 18, but she composes herself. Clarice sends it out. Nice send out there by number Clarice, number 16. Caitlin comes up. Priya comes out, number 12, catches her breath. Important to note that we're playing at altitude here. So definitely gonna be a workout for players not used to the altitude here in Addis. Number four, nice footwork there from Vanya, sends it through to number six there. Samara in the middle. Samara not able to handle it. Defenders from the Warthogs kick it out. But now we have a throw in, looks like, for the Twiggas. Okay, so nice throw in there from the Twiggas down to number 10, Iris. Iris with some nice footwork there, kicks it back, loses the footing, and sends it forward. The Warthogs send it forward, but too much speed on that, and that'll be a goal kick for the Twiggas, for Rin. Rin's ready. All right, number three, I'm all rested up, rehydrated, ready back. Come back in, let's see. They're gonna, yep. Player exchange here. Amal coming in. And unclear who's coming out there. Maybe she's taking the long way around. Anyway, goal kick. And Rin sends it down to the right side. To our fresh new striker, Amal. And a corner. Wins a corner. Wasn't able to handle it. Oh, no. Twiggas were hoping for a corner there, but no luck. Josefina will handle the ball there in the middle. Makes them ready and sends it through the middle. Nice stop there for the Warthogs. Good play, good technique. Trying to figure out what to do. Surrounded by Twiggas defenders, but she sticks with it. Sticks with it. Number 11 there, very spunky player there, Joyce. Very determined. And the Twig is trying to get a fast break. Led by Samara, number six. Was fouled there, setting up a free kick in the middle. They were protesting, rightfully so. And they get a free kick. Let's see who's gonna handle this free kick. Looks like Amal will handle the free kick. The Warthogs goalie, Camden, giving directions there. Hoping for a free kick goal there. We're at the five minute mark left in the first half. Twiggas taking a quick breath here, trying to get in position, trying to put pressure on Camden, the goalie for the Warthogs. A soft one there in the middle. No one there to receive it and collect it. Camden lets it go smartly and gives it to Josefina for a free kick, or she'll assuredly get it out of Warthog territory. So, Josefina sending it again. 
This time, Twiggers handle it. Number 10, Iris collects it, sends it up to Amal. Amal unable to handle it, sent back to number 18 there, Nyla. Players having trouble handling the ball here. It's a throw in for the Warthogs. Twiggas have a nice two minute rotation plan, it looks like here. Tessa, number five, and number nine, Asha coming in to relieve Iris. Number 10 and number seven, Safa. Safa. All right. Warthogs send one across there. Will this be a goalie kick? Goalie kick for the Twiggas. No, a throw in. For number 12, Priya. Priya handles it and throws it forward, but intercepted. Wise play by number 11 there, Joyce. She's all over the field today. She sends it across. Unfortunately, no one there to collect it, to do something with. Number 18, Nyla, showing some speed there down the, down the sideline. And a goal kick, it looks like, for the Warthogs. Josephina's there again, trying to set up some offense from the back end. She has a strong foot. Let's see if the strikers are ready to strike. This time she tries to keep it on the Warthog's end with a slow, slow advance there. And the Twiggas aren't able to handle it and it'll be sent back Warthog way. 13 Eloise throwing it in to number seven, Josefina. Josefina sizes it up here. Nice pass forward to number 14, Cameron. Sorry, that's Deanna. Deanna, number 14. Diana. Oh, wow, what a strike by Josefina. Formidable force. From the back end coming forward. Oh. Number five is Tessa. Tessa passes it forward to number nine, Asha. Asha tries to pass it back. But the Warthogs defender with some tenacity there. That's Clarice, number 18. She's not making it easy for those strikers on the Twiggas. Number 15, Rebecca comes back in. Great work there. Sending out Samara, number six. Okay. Josefina directing traffic again, trying to get one to land in the middle for her Warthog crew to do something with, but no luck. Number three is Amal setting up number nine, Asha in the middle. She tries to send one through. Asha tries to collect it. Amal rather tries to collect it, but no luck. Number 13, Eloise. Coming up the sideline again, trying to advance it. Wow. Josefina sends it in the middle. Number 12 takes it hard there, Priya. Trying to advance it. Let's go catch your breath there. I'm sure that didn't feel good. Wow. Josefina with that powerful kick. Josefina no sends it in the middle. Caught it in the chest there. Number 12. We're coming down to the last two minutes here. Down to the last two minutes. It says 30 seconds on our clock, but could be some wiggle room there for some stoppage time. Let's see if either team can make a last shot. Send it in. Yep, they're trying to make a run, those Tiggas. Tessa. Amal. They have a throw in. Amal throws it in. Tessa tries to collect it. Tessa with a shot. But Camden says, no way, Jose. Sends it away. And now 
The Warthogs try to catch them on their back end. Tessa tries okay. to collect it. Okay, Tessa with a it. shot. He's working on it. Okay. 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 Twiggas hold on. Take control. Asha trying to send it forward for another strike. Can they strike again? There's Asha. He's got a point blank range. And it was too much for Camden. Sadly for her, lets one in here at the end of the first half. And the Twiggas take a late first half lead. One. Warthogs with null. And at the end of the first half. Warthogs are going to try to regroup. And the Twiggers take a late first half lead, one. See if they can get a sneaky one in. But they need to be quick. There's little time left. Can they do it, Sophia? Yes, they can. Yeah, they have to believe. Oh, that's it, though. They tried. Got in a little disarray there at the end of that first half. I think need a break, need some water, need to recapture their energy. We've got to get some ice here for the Twiggas. The player took that tough kick from Josefina. Needs some ice for the throat. Hopefully we'll get that treated. Everybody take a break and get ready for a great second half with the Twiggas. Leading one from IST to the Warthogs from HIS zero. Looking forward to a great second half. Twiggas take the ball. And number 11, Joyce passes it over to Josefina. 
Nice idea there. Tries to cross it back with a shot. But runs into a uh, fierce Twigga's defense. Twigga's advanced the ball. Loses it out of bounds, but throw in for the Twiggas. That'll be handled by number 16, Caitlin. Runs to grab the ball. Takes a breath, gets her team. And the throw into the middle. Number five, Tessa tries to handle it. And back out. Oh, wow. Nice idea there by number four. Unclear for me who number four is out there. But a nice idea there. It's Vanya trying to cross the ball. Unfortunately, no one was there to take it. Josefina will take the goal kick. She will send it down to Twigga Town. Tries to get it to one of her players. Sails over, takes a funny bounce. And that'll be a Twigga's, Twigga's throw in, I believe. Yep. No! It's a Warthog's throw in. Hard to see here with the equipment. Number 13, Eloise, sends it in. It's that Joyce in the middle. Oh, gets a foul in there from Joyce, trying to take position there. Twiggas are happy with that call. Tessa, number five, with the free kick. Sending it down to Warthog Ward. And a fierce kick there, but right to Camden, the goalie. She says no, not gonna get it that easily. Josefina sending it down to Joyce. And a collision there by the Twiggas goalie, Rin. That easily, Josefina sending it down to Joyce. And a collision there. Joyce had her eye looking backwards, trying to come up, connect with the ball and Rin with an aggressive play to take the ball away. Just one of those unfortunate collisions there. But now we're back in play. Looks like everyone's ready to rumble. And Caitlin takes her time setting up the offense. Gets Tessa. Sending the ball forward there. But too much velocity there for Safa number seven. No luck. Camden sets it up for a goal kick. She's going to take it this time. Sends it down. Dangerous there. Twiggas weren't able to take it away, but they still get it. Throw in for the Twiggas. Number 18 there is Nyla. Nice form there with the throw in to Tessa. Tessa runs in. Runs into number 13 there. You can't. And Josefina. Oh my. Oh my. It's super dangerous down there in Warthog Ward. Yeah, we, we need you here. Just wait, I'll call them. I'm getting muted, okay? Yeah. Please make sure you find a seat in the bleachers. 
or the stand designated standing areas, please do not enter the athlete tent. Please do not enter the athlete tent. I'm back on. Sorry for those technical difficulties there. We needed to make a call from the booth and had to mute our play-by-play. -play. But man, it's getting furious out there now. The Twiggins are on the attack. Number four, bringing up the ball, crossing it, Vanya. To the middle, 15. Wow, what a shot by Rebecca. But Camden says, sorry, Charlie. No, thank you. And another great stop. Great goalie play by Camden. Twiggers keep the attack on. Seven sends it out. Josephina sends it out. Uh-oh. She's not doing well. She's injured. We need a stop of play. Iris. All right, Eagles from Johannesburg. They were very delayed. They just got in at 5.45 a.m. this morning. And we're very thankful that they were find, able to find a plane to get them here to Addis. They got some rest at the hotel. Hopefully they are refreshed, fired up, and ready to go for the ICEA Football Tournament 2024. Okay, we're hoping Josefina, who's had a, an amazing game, is recovering from her injury. She's walking gingerly, but she's refusing to go out. She gives a thumbs up. They send the ball back to the Twiggas, and they send it out for a goalie kick. Good sportsmanship out here. Camden, the goalie, ready for a goalie kick. Josephina must be doing okay, because she's ready to take that goalie kick and send it out to Twiggatown. Nice kick there, sending it down to number 11, who's been fierce down there, Joyce. Attracting a lot of Twiggas. The Twiggas take it away. Number 10, Iris on the attack. Vanya trying to collect the ball, but not able to. And so I'm not sure who's sending it in there. Number 13, I don't have a number for her. Don't have a name. Eloise sending it in. Okay, just so you know, I'm please talk to him. I'm here for the play by play. I've called the I've called the athletics director. We're doing our best. Okay? Sir, we've heard you. You've been heard. I've called the athletics director and I've called him to tell the nurse. Thank you. But
back on. So, Twigga is still ahead here, 1-0 against the Warthogs from HIS. That was a dangerous play there. HIS almost snuck one in on the Twiggas there, but Rin said, no way, Jose. Sends it out. It's number 12 there, Priya. And now the Twiggas are back on the attack. Amal is bringing it forward to number 10, Iris. Intercepted there by Eloise, number 13. And a throw in for the Warthogs. And a throw in. Number 10 there, Iris sends it across. No one's there from the Twiggas to get it. And Camden says, get it out of here. Send it back to Twigga Town. Number 10 there is Inez. Inez gets challenged there by Priya. And a goal kick by Ren for the Twiggas. Sub now for HIS and for IST. Number five, Tessa coming in and Iris coming out. And after Lots of gritty play there. Eloise is coming out. Did you see who subbed in for her? Nope. It's all right. And number nine, Asha, up the far sideline there. Number five, Tessa, keeping it over there on the far sideline. HIS kicks it out. The Warthogs better protect their ward. This is just a gentle reminder all right, we wait for the throw in this here. Number 16, Caitlin. Not it's not a throw in. It's a, uh, yeah, it's, that's what I thought. It's a throw in. Caitlin's going to throw it in. Tried to sneak a corner in there, but no luck. And Camden comes out for the, for the challenge, but the ref whistles it, pointing the opposite way, and some kind of foul against the Twiggas. Josefina will take the free kick. As usual, she gets her Warthogs in position, trying to make an attack. We're over halfway through this second half, and the Warthogs are trying to see if they can rally and even this up. Josefina. Too much steam behind that. Had some fire in those Warthog nostrils and sent it too, too wide down the court, down the field. Sending it over to Freya, number 12. Gentle pass there to Amal, she handles it. Number five, we're seeing some good ball handling now from the Twiggas. And they're trying to control it now, control the pace. Caitlin sends it up the other side for a nice run for number nine. Asha tries to flip it over Camden there, but couldn't get enough pace. Still a nice flip, nice idea. Camden knocks it out of bounds, and this time it is a corner. Throws it out, tries to get it up the court. A little dangerous pass back to the goalie there. And across, and almost an own goal. My goodness, HIS in a bit of disarray here. Nerves getting to them after that strong twig attack. Pass back to the goalie there, and across, and almost an own goal. My because they're going to try to take this momentum and see if they can attack Camden and the Warthog Ward. A nice send in. Camden, hard to handle, but able to kick it away and avert danger there from the Twiggas. Number 11 there, Joyce. Tried to take control. She's had a strong match. 
Twiggas knock it out, throw in for the Warthogs. Up to number seven, who's Safa? Safa flips it forward, but out of bounds. Nope, not out of bounds. Twiggas still have it. Send it up the field. Handled by number 15, but not for long. Rebecca loses it again, but then is backed up by number five, Tessa. Tessa kicks it out of bounds. Number seven for the Warthogs. Josefina brings it up the field. Crafty one there, trying to build some momentum in Twiggatown. Warthogs need to keep the pressure on. Throw in to Josefina. Josefina crosses. Wow. And that ended up being a strong shot. Rin handles it, but huh. takes it hard to the throat. Rowan. Unfortunately, that's been a theme this game. Muted. Rowan. Never mind the, okay, the two minutes, two minutes. Unfortunately, we keep having injuries. We're trying to make sure we have medics available. So we need a, looks like Josefina again took one hard. Hopefully they're sending the nurse out to one of our ICS nurses is on the sideline now. She's down. Okay. So unfortunately it looks like Josephine is down on the sideline.
Well, we had to unfortunately escort another HIS player off the field. We wish her well. She had a great match. I believe that was number seven. Josefina, wishing her well. Hopefully she can get back in the next game. But now let's see a strong end to this great IST-HIS matchup. Been quite a defensive round. Not too many offensive chances, but a lot of tenacity. And that's it. So congratulations to the IST Twiggas. Winning one to null over the Harare International School Warthogs. Great match, spirited play, great defense, a very defensive match. Weren't a lot of shots on goal. Both goalies played well. Camden just unfortunately let one through there at the end of the first half, but she had a great match. And Rin, I've seen her play two great matches in goal for the Twiggas. Good luck to both teams. And congratulations again to the IST Twiggas, one to zero for Harare International School. We'll see you on the upper field in 10 minutes or so.